Hi, I'm Lee. And I'm Morten. And we're LEGO designers. In this video, we will show you how to use the basic motor code blocks when programming your models. First, connect your motor to port A and make sure your hub is connected to your device. If you now visit the coding canvas, you can see the motor have appeared up in the top right corner. This way, you can always keep track of what is connected to which port. If you twist a motor, you can see the degrees change for that motor. I can twist it all the way around until I'm back at the zero position indicated by this little print. This means the motor will now reach zero degrees in the app. Always knowing the position of your motors is a handy little tool when coding and troubleshooting. Now, let's try to make a little program using basic motor blocks. Charlie has volunteered to be my test subject today. In this program, I want Charlie to raise the left arm and wave. I will use the motor block with the Go Shortest Pass to Position option. This way, I can control precisely where Charlie's arm should go to. I think Charlie should raise the arm connected to motor B about 45 degrees compared to zero. After the arm has been raised, I want to create the wave movement. Instead of using 10 motor blocks to move Charlie's arm up and down, I will just use a repeat block, which is found in the control category. Inside the repeat block, I place two run motor blocks. I have them go 20 degrees in either direction to create the waving motion. Now I want the wave to repeat 5 times, so I just enter 5 in the repeat block. And now we are ready to go. That wave looks fine, but let's see if we can change the speed a bit. To do this, I will use the set speed block. By default, motors will run at 75% speed. But by putting this block at the top of your program, you can change that. Let's set the speed to 100% and see how it looks. That might be a bit too fast, but as you have seen, that is an easy change. Keep experimenting with the motor blocks to unlock their potential and a lot of fun. Thank you for watching.